The function I'm looking at is the bond function, which is second button number nine. So there you go. I've deliberately used SDT and RDT here. So SDT will be the settlement date, the, the date on which we bond the bond. So we're going to go 31st dot 1200 and press enter. We're then going to go down and select the coupon, which should be 5.5%. Uh, then I need the redemption date, which is 31st December uh, 2007. Okay, so don't forget that decimal dot after the date. And also make sure that you're in the European format. If you're one of my American viewers and you're in the American date format, then you need the month before the uh, date. Uh, then uh, the redemption value uh, can stay at 100. This is not important. 2Y means a periodicity of 2. We need to change that to periodicity of 1. Um, you need to change the yield to 6. And let's first calculate the price here by pressing the compute button. We need to see 97.21. Excellent, 97.21. And now when I go down, I'm not going to calculate duration, but don't panic when you realize that the answer we're going to see is not going to be 598, my friends. So actually, when we calculate duration here, we're getting 564 because the duration that your calculator is providing here is known as modified duration, which is an upcoming topic that we shall enjoy together. However, you can easily convert modified duration into Macaulay duration by multiplying by one uh, plus the yield, in this case, uh, 106. So if I multiply by 106 here, I will get my uh, Macaulay duration of 